My son was left behind in a house fire about a month ago on April 2, 2024. My son was badly burned in a horrific house fire. My son's mother and I are separated so my son goes back and forth between us. He lives with his mom primarily. I got a phone call while I was at work at 2 a.m. It was my son's mother crying hysterically and telling me that her house burned down and that our son is being transported to the hospital. I told my boss and left in a hurry. My girlfriend was also working. We both work overnight shifts and her job was only about 7 to 8 minutes away. I told her what happened and picked her up and went straight to the hospital my son was sent to. The entire way there I was worried but I was thinking to myself that whatever happened to my son may not be that bad. When I arrived at the hospital, my girlfriend and I ran to the emergency entrance. They only allowed me to see my son's son his dad. I saw my son's mother being treated by the nurses because she inhaled some smoke. Keep in mind there's not a scratch or burn on him. The nurse takes me to go see my son and I see his burned body being wheeled off to the next room because he needed treatment immediately. My son has third degree burns on 80% of his body. When I saw his little body laying on that bed, I lost it. I couldn't believe my eyes. My son's mother, her boyfriend, her sister, her second son and my son were in the house the night of the fire. All but my son made it out of the house. The boyfriend has burns on his face and right arm only. My son's mother claims to me that her boyfriend went back in to save our son. However, she told my girlfriend that my son ran out of the house by himself. Her stories have been very inconsistent so I don't believe a word she says. I'm heartbroken and furious because my son's mother made it out of the house with not a single burn, yet my son has third-degree burns all over. How can I not think that he was left behind? Here are the top comments. OP, I'm a 80% third-degree burn survivor. Your son needs to be at a specialized burn hospital. DM if you want to chat or need help finding resources. Your son can survive this and live a productive life. He just needs the right care now. Stop, breathe, and wait for the truth to come out. A house fire is one of the most chaotic, confusing disasters that a person can face, and it's very rare for people with no training to handle them well. It's quite common for most of a family to make it out and only realize once they're out that someone has been left behind because the confusion of the heat and smoke makes it nearly impossible to know what's happening while you're inside. Everybody's saying they would never leave their child, even insinuating that the mother left him on purpose. Without knowing all the details there is absolutely no way to know if she even had a chance to get him. The fire could have started in the area he was in. In the panic and confusion, she might not even have known where he was or thought he was already safe. As a mother I would never in a million years ever run out of a burning house without my kids. And they are teenagers now. No way in hell. What the freak? How could she run out without grabbing your son first? My first instinct would be to find and get to my kids. I'm so sorry about your son. 